What's up guys and welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. Today's recipe is a meal prep recipe, but it is also a comfort food makeover and a nod to the fall. We are making a delicious chicken tetrazzini. <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna say anything, but now I have to because I'm laughing. Um, in this show, this goes to show you all how much like maybe it's trash TV that I watch. So do you remember a few years ago on the Maury Povich show, which is a show here in the US, it's a talk show. Um, there was a lady who was complaining that her best friend was stealing her husband or her boyfriend and she was luring him in with her homemade chicken tetrazzini recipe. Do you remember that? You think he has won him over with chicken tetrazzini? I don't know what she do with the chicken tetrazzini, but pile love it, pile love it. Dominique can cook, but I know she's seducing my this... man with a chicken tetrazzini. <laughs> you gotta do an internet search and find the entire clip because it's, it's pretty funny, but the takeaway is this. If you're ever having trouble trying to wifey someone or trying to hook someone, then just make them chicken tetrazzini because it worked for her and probably worked for you too. This recipe is low carb. We're gonna be swapping out the noodles and replacing it with spaghetti squash, which is a nod to the fall. We're also gonna be taking out the milk and the flour that's used to make the creamy base and replacing that with coconut cream. It's gonna be very delicious, you're going to love it. And I can't wait to see how you are going to tweak it for your diet. Check it out. Oh yeah, if you're not already guys, I want to invite y'all to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Fit Man Cook. I'm sharing daily meals and other healthy living content that I don't get to share here on YouTube. Plus, I want y'all to be a part of my official countdown to my cookbook. All right guys, check it out. First, we're gonna cut a spaghetti squash into rings. Doing it this way creates longer noodles. Remove the inside and place them on a baking sheet. Spray the pieces with olive oil, then sprinkle sea salt and pepper. Bake for 45 minutes at 400. When they're done, we're gonna set a bowl on a food scale and add the spaghetti. Gently push it out and pull it apart. Now you can more easily calculate your macros for the recipe. Next, buy a rotisserie chicken from your local grocery store, then remove the skin from the meat. Weigh the chicken, then pull it apart with forks. To a nonstick skillet, we're gonna add olive oil, garlic, and chopped leeks. Cook for three minutes until they're soft, then add rosemary and thyme. Squeeze in a little lemon, and pour in some chicken broth. Then add the coconut cream, and season to taste with sea salt and pepper. Next, we're gonna fold in the chicken and remove the skillet from the heat. Add the spaghetti, then gently fold everything together and allow it to cool and thicken. Garnish with parsley. Next, select your bakeware. You can use a small foil tin, a baking dish, or hermetic jars. If you use the jars, be sure to get a size that corresponds with your serving size. These range from seven ounces all the way up to 21 ounces. I like these because you can easily remove the metal rings and reheat in the microwave. Spoon out your portion in the jar, then top with Parmesan and panko or wheat breadcrumbs. Bake for 25 minutes at 400. Boom! Fist bump that like button, then head over to fitmancook.com to get the full recipe. And remember to download the Fitman Cook apps for iPhone and Android for more easy, healthy, practical meals. 